Stanislav playing very far back for the moment. They just want to get some damage. They just want to get a kill at range, at distance. Those USPs actually coming out on the losing end first, and Circus brought very, very low. Genji is going to get so, so close. Here comes the retake, and they're going to go head on right out of the choke point over the smoke. Bentet pushing forward as well. And Tarek is under a lot of pressure, and not all of EG has come through the smoke. They're disjointed, and they're getting slaughtered because of it. Breeze is going to be the last one left. It's going to be the pistol round for Genji. It's a fantastic pistol run from Genji here as well. The winning condition on the pistol when you get down for on the bomb side, even the plant is really nice done from Genji. You tend to plant behind the bomb train. The plant is on purpose because you need to take the space. You don't have any nades. You have to pick the fight. To, you have to take the fight to EG. Talk about faces. You're out e box here now. Now you want to take a pause. You want to throw some nades. You want to talk things through. How do we take this bomb side? How do we take some more map control here broadside? All right. Well. They've taken a lot of damage, and now they're stuck. No one's moving forward. You can draw a line across Genji's position. Now starting to collectively move with the cover oh. of the AK-47, but damage is coming out. The scout, the SMG, is going to work. Daps is close up. Can't find that kill until the very end, and we have a two-on-two. -two. That's a big pickup for Daps, though, with this Mac 10 He's kind of already sniffed out this connector player, and he's going to wait this out. And Cirque, he's already squished up Bentet. He's tagged. So definitely a big target for him in an optimal position here. And with Daps going down, that's a big pickup for Bentet. He knows this connector player is low. Daps has already certainly communicated that over to him. And this is this is a good move for him. The oh. timing. Oh. Ooh, and Bentet closes that one out. They're just going to decide to just push instead. Ooh, that Molotov comes a bit late. They're already turning the corner, but they're lined up. No one hard clears the corner. Only one for Tarek. A response as well from Ethan. And now Breeze gets put into play. Cirque as well with the off. Does some long-range damage. Double kill for him with the sniper. And it's 3-1 to one for Genji. He's got a bit more uh, bit more ability to just kind of hide once the hit comes in. Nade's going to do some work. He spots the first. Look at all that. They're softened up. Plant's going down. Oh, he's not going to stop it. No follow-up Nade. No follow-up Molotov from anyone. So a good plant for Gen G. They've gotten, uh, as Robin said, exactly what they want and nothing more. Yeah, no bonus, no kills. You're screwed. I am, I am. But they've been just so active so far this map. Oh. Nice change of pace. This is a nice kill though from Kusta. Makes it a three on three. And they do have the bomb site here now though, with I, some utility. How does how does they take that bomb site so easily with four defenders alive? That's that's pretty crazy. That's two huge lapses outside early on. You think Bentet crawling into connector previously with just a P250. Yeah, EG, they made the wrong read, overstacked towards that inner, and Stanislaw, this late lurk towards I ladder might be everything. Som, he's got a lot of angles to hold, but ooh, he's 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 aware. He knows. They could have just full defused this with a kit. There's Cirque. They know exactly where Som is. There's the hold. And good confidence in Cirque from Ethan. He's already on the 10 second defuse. EG, they haven't budged. They've got a pretty decent setup towards the bomb train. And that's a huge pickup from Tarek. Breeze holding the line down here at quad. If Som doesn't clear this, he's in for a world of hurt. There it is. There's that first kill. And bomb even goes down. Cirque with a huge round so far. Oh, he never even realized Bentet was there, though. Bentet could deliver another solid victory up against Breeze at the moment over towards Ivy. What a shot, what a peak. No timing shot quite yet. Two players in her, no rotation yet. But they are smoking to go back to CT spawn, so the defense has to know, oh. and Cirk gets caught. Good find from Automatic, good find from Bentet, and now Breeze has to do so much, and he's got two. Man, Automatic's doing so much into this round. Bentet, he's already got the inner bomb site secured. Automatic's gonna get the bomb down, but this double flank retake, this might catch Genji off guard a little bit. They still have to respect the possibility of CT spawn. Oh, they know where Automatic is. Oh, oh, good shot right off the ladder. Now, Ethan, he sees the bomb positioning. Smoke goes down. Bentet doesn't have the angle. There's the tap. Bentet's going to have to get over aggressive on top of the train. That's the fight Ethan wants, and that's the one he's going to win. That round was so close for Genji. They do make it out. They lose one member. Nice shot from Automatic. This is out now. You want to take a breather here. Talk, talk things through. Where do you want to waste the nades? Where do you want to take control? Look at Stanislaw. He's already out behind the smoke. 
Yeah, and the problem here for Genji as well is look at the nades, right? They've wasted everything already, and now they're just at the bomb site, but they haven't cleared anything yet. So this is a great kill from Bantat. It's definitely needed. And even here, Bantat again. I mean, this is, again, we talk about the star player performance. This is basically Genji first week when they're not hitting the bomb site correctly, and it's star players getting the kills. And they still need to force him out into the open. All that time is getting very deep. There's the drop from Breeze, and he's looking straight ahead with the off. Flashbang is out, takes the blind shot. Kusa's got him both. A fourth round on the board for Genji, and they stop an eight-round run from EG. Huge, important swing round for Genji. You just mentioned eight rounds in a row, Jason. If uh, EG lose this one, they're broke already. So Genji has been doing a good job, but man, three opening kills for EG into the round, and Tarek, he's just going to go for more. He's even low, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Taking out Som and Daps, man, he's got a MAC-10. What can you do? I mean, that's Tarek feeling it, and he's having a phenomenal game so far. We've seen him push into team mid as well. He's handling most of that, most of the initial contact outside. He's stamping his name down yeah, in the t area. He's, he's, it's costly to, to get him out of, out of position. Four kills in the round. It's been hard for them, I think, to dig into the playbook. Yeah. Yeah, Tarek's there again at the point of contact. Like, when nothing is going right, how are you going to be able to just switch things up? You're still just kind of running into a brick wall. It's really just they EG making the reads here right now, and, and Genji falling for it. That was, a, that was an early aggression for EG oh my inside God. with three guys. <laughs> the fact that Stan gets away here as well is absolutely insane. 11 to 4 is looking very likely here. I was thinking like someone was going to fall back and they'd flash for him and then he could peek and... Oh dear, that started to look silly towards the end of that half. You know that CTs like to buy flashes at least sometimes. You can use that as a flash, fake flash, you know, and peek with it at least. You can have four of those on this round, for example. It doesn't have to be that pop flash, it could just, you hear the, the pin being pulled, right? And that's when you have the fake of a nade. Okay, well... But I'm talking here, but EG is just destroying this outside bomb site. Yeah, I don't think any any fake flashes were going to help there. I don't even think they needed it. <laughs> Good kill from Cirque. Psalm is the last one left. And now pushing up, he's got a nice headshot on Cirque, but it's a it's a losing battle, and he doesn't even realize he's lost already. Maybe Genji needed the decoys. Yeah. <laughs> Although I mean, at least there's 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 two players here. There's They're a third be all one here. Kusa's Seven's gonna be very quick on the flank too. Yeah. Oh, well, they just need to get a kill quick, and that's not gonna happen. Psalm not able to protect automatic at distance and. Now the danger goes away. Koost is here. A tag oh, nice. around the smoke. All right, calm down. Not everything's going to get cursed. Ooh, that was almost a nice blind estimation. <laughs> that was actually really close. That was freakish. <laughs> uh, you can see Bentet coming in with the USP. He might be able to grab that rifle. And he's going to make something happen with this Galil. This is being watched, though. Ooh, the timing. They just looked away. Now, not so doable. I was getting ready to, to build that one up, but... Nice shot from Cirque. Yeah, Kusta, maybe? No. It's a good eco round, at least, from right. Genji. Four kills. Yeah, you're happy with that, I guess, all things considered. Yeah, that's case. <laughs> even, right. even as successful as it is, though, at, at 4 to 14, it doesn't feel like a whole lot. I wonder if they have this read for EG now, then they're about to hit the bomb site. Automatic with the first, and everything is molotov Everything is smoked. And they just come to a halt. They can't. They don't have an extra smoke to kind of block off the molly. Oh, that's not ideal. Well, here we go. Three to three. Cirque is now involved in the action. Stanislaw as well. One jumping on top. Can't win the fight. That's Daps to take him down. And Breeze is stuck for the moment, but he finds the courage to back away safely. Now Cirque can grab an angle. He has the AWPD box. And that's a rotation coming in. Bentet over eager. He goes down. Bomb being planted as well. And a Molotov is going to hold back Daps for the moment. What a quick rotation coming up for EG, man. Definitely the timing not on his side, making this two versus two with no kit. Almost, almost an impossible scenario, but Som. Flashbang on Som. He yeah. can actually flash that. Or, he, excuse me. Oh. That's the other. Oh. oh, wow. That's a great shot. It's actually the other way. Som was the one who had to push up close to it, but. Why did that jump look so slow motion, too? Because he was walking when he yeah. did it. <laughs> I hope like we see the uh... slowest jump ever. <laughs> And this is what we've been seeing, and it's such a shame we see this for this series team versus GEG. Oh. Look how passive they are, right? They're basically like just turtles, or like no one's making a move. It's 4v5 and no nades. Oh. At least now the rotate come in <laughs> from Bantet. What are you supposed Stand to do? I mean, he needed to. He had to I do know. something. No, I appreciate I'm, it. I like the play from Bentet. It's just 
how pissed are you going to be if you turn the corner and Sanazon is looking for that exact play? Cirque <laughs> takes him down as well. 16 to 4. It's a speed run. EG take map one. Ooh, did Daps? That timing. Oh, this Halls player. Yeah, he, he that was the sound. I'm wondering if Daps heard it. Breeze, I don't know how he still manages to win that fight. Oh. At least low HP is going to give up the game. He'll give up this position of Daps. So that reveals it, and that's not a bad player to lose. Although that spot is very, very powerful. And Daps is now going to get flanked out as well. Four on three. No real nades or utility to get back into this bomb site. You do have a flashbang on automatic, but I don't know how much that is going to be able to help. Man, the timing in this round is crazy. Daps, you know, he enabled this retake by surviving in halls for just a minute, but Tarek almost kind of checkmates that one. Stanislaw in prime position. Easy pickings for him and a strong post-plant setup for EG. Man, if that's they what don't... happened to Liquid yesterday. Yeah, that that is kind of what they happened. They sat back at B. They sat back at A. No one took control. Yeah. and that's what I mentioned yesterday. If oh, you're playing defense dear. with B, you have to play offensive at A. Mm -hmm. If you're playing defense on A, you have to play offense on B. You can't just give them your the whole map and be like, "Hey, come at us." We have nades though. Maybe you don't need them. Oh, here we go. Nice smoke. Breeze gonna turn the- Oh my god, he's got one. Big trades, and even oh burns my. the final. That is a two-man take of Banana if I've ever seen one. Even further gonna hold him back. So, that delay, it's okay for now. Uh -oh. Or not. Uh-oh. Nope. Yeah, and now, I mean, that puts Cirque a little bit, little bit scared as he rotates back into things. Terra cannot go down here. Cirk finally arriving. He does have a flashbang to throw over. Another smoke for cover. And if they want to take on Automatic, here comes the pop flash to push through. Oh, Automatic's my. got another. That's Cirk to go down. And Herrick has no teammates left with him. He's hit by a nade and he's got to bail out. He'll take his chances inside of the smoke. Tap of the bomb. Tarek, no response. Remember, there's no kits on the CT defensive team. Tarek waiting for his moment. There's oh, a jump no. through and he's got it. That's going to close out the round. <laughs> Mr. Content himself. 1v2, clutches that round for EG. Kusta, no flashes needed, I love this. We should be one more flashbang here now, yep. The timing, oh, oh my oh. god, they're ready for it. I don't even know if Totem they were... Totem pole, man. The flash. I don't know if they're ready for that exactly, but the way everything faded at the same time worked out just perfectly so that each of them could get a kill. Daps, I think, wants to make a play, but there's there's no point. EG's kind of ready for it as well. You see the smoke, because again, we, we mentioned it. That smoke from Gen G, because EG has been playing it so fast, we haven't really seen it. So for Gen, for EG, you're like, well, the smoke is about to fade, and teams like to play in these smokes, especially with the half wall. Let's be, be ready for it. And I talk about timing. That's a very common timing, I'd say. They might just make a decision here of going back to B with this. See, we're all good. My you boy. know, I still I still really appreciate all the effort Genji are going through. Even that banana take, all the failed banana take attempts, this mid-take attempt. Uh, we said it, Genji, they need to have an answer. They can't sit back and just let EG bully them and, and have their way with them and, and control the pace throughout the entirety. And that's Genji throwing an answer, or what they think is the answer. But of course, EG, they're getting the better of them. You're starting to just get so confident. And I mean, think of that pressure it applies to that. <laughs> Jesus. Think of the pressure it applies to that third player who goes to the B-bomb site early when they're already knocking on the door close mid. We're, we're 30 seconds into the round, and there's been two kills already from EG. Enable this B stack of both of his teammates, but he goes down. This should be an easy call to be able to go back to A. I don't think it matters. I think they're just going to keep moving forward. There's Kusta with the first. Tarek trades him off, and we're just down to Daps. Stan's they were about to do the back. rotate there, because yeah. they saw the Kusta that killed the guy. So they know he's the A rotate, or the B rotate, rather. EG was taken mid very easily just for free. Here we see him. Actually, Kusta gets the kill there, and it's just the two members there, just with the one flash. Man. Maybe timing there is a little bit there. This is a good round from Gen G. We see some apps presence as well. I mentioned, <laughs> if B is working out, we can go A still. We can still make some plays over at A. Onto Bentet, then you just book it. That was that was so close. That was very close. Once the smoke comes in here, Barmak, he's gonna go down back to Moto here, try and help up Bentet. Oh, he's got to get there quick. Yeah. Oh, oh. Dear you needed God. to flash for Bentet. There, he's the only one with the flash, and you know they're coming up. Use the flash before you hit the bomb site to help out your teammates. Otherwise, it's a dry peeking everywhere. 
That's a pretty valiant effort from Bentet. Double kill in the round. Bomb just gets planted. At least we have a flashbang here on Daps to kind of help Psalm out here. Or Smoke, was it rather? That's even better for Psalm. Makes it easy for him to kind of start taking That's some duels shot. here. Good trades. It's a good retake. You don't have a smoke here for the mollies. So if EG would have actually just done a full execute here, it would have been good. But they walk in and through the smoke instead. This might also just work out, but timing is not there. They Song know. gets to, and he was the one that was low. He had 2 HP or something. Nice hold from the B guys here. We haven't seen this from Genji. This is just the two guys, Kus and Som, doing work Yeah, for I'm this Genji side. Not even entirely sure how Som was able to get those two kills with that low of HP, but he's done it. And automatic cleans things up. As the Molotov clears towards logs. And oh, he's got a tag. I don't know how that wasn't a kill. Stanislaw's down very low. Now they're going to swing one. They oh. don't want to let him get away. And he's going to make them pay for it. And now low HP coming through the smoke. It's traded off. A two on three. That may have just been enough, but Breeze, he finds himself lurking out. His teammates are so far away. It's all on daps. Oh, wow. Sirk. You mentioned, Christine, the most important thing there, he didn't even have to peek. He just had to stay alive. Wait for the teammates. EG would have not cleared it. But puts it a two on two now instead. There at least is one smoke and one flashbang on that CT side. These positions are so much more powerful, though, for EG than they were last time. Oh, oh unfortunately, Cirk goes down. Breeze, he knows his position one-on-one, -on -one, and the AK wins out. A classic duel. Bented even tags him in the head as well. From Stanislaw oh. to shut it down, and a good one from a, uh, Automatic as well. Now, three players, Tarek, Cirque, and Stanislaw are going to push up Banana. They have a gap, an opening here in this defense where Som is the only defender. Daps hasn't rotated over as well, and if they take this bomb site, there's not a whole lot of retake nades. That's a huge kill. What a great read from EG, man. They didn't even have a smoke, but they knew they had to jump onto Som. But Automatic, his op, man, it's been heating up all half long. That's a great pickup to enable this uh, this actual retake. Tarek, he knows he's got to take construction control. And Daps, he's aware. He's waiting for it. Stanislaw finds himself alone in a one versus three. Tries to press the issue, but automatic punishes him. So it's a lovely retake from Gen G, but it comes after Som being a little bit misplaced in his positioning. And again, they go aggressive. This time around, he just though, looked away. yeah, Ethan just was like, "Yeah, he's already <laughs> dead. I don't have to. I don't have to worry about this anymore." <laughs> Daps the timing here. Oh, not on his side. And EG, they're everywhere, everywhere right now. Benten, good position. Not a good position. Let's take it out, Sir. He's on one. He's dropped the AWP. He's just on that AK. Potentially the fastest best of five, <laughs> maybe ever. I don't know. I, that yeah, Although, I mean, I'm sure. I'm hoping. Too. I'm hoping someone in there is keeping stats of you know how many BF5s consist of a one map lead and you know all that kind of stuff. We get into a whole lot of technicalities. This is kind of getting sad, Robin. With the way EG's doing this, we don't have a whole lot of time left. But let's look at the positives. Som bought a decoy, and Kusta gets an entry. Oh, what the? That, <laughs> oh, oh my oh, God! Oh. The nade, the nade. It hurts. It's still a B rush though. They still stick with it. They still have the entry, even though the nade did a lot of damage. Oh, Tarek in the smoke is not making his play just yet, and unfortunately all of his teammates are dead, and he's probably frustrated. He was probably saying something like, <laughs> Oh god, oh god, don't do not do it. Okay. Oh my god, the nade though did so much damage. So we'll see timing. Genji are there though, so we'll see if they're aware of this. It's the old bait Stanislaw strategy. Oh, what's turn for a counter flash? Tarek oh, can't get away. Nice kills. And even Breeze is going to walk into his death. And Genji gonna close that gap. And it's such a good style I mentioned, right? Yeah, sure. Good Yeah, you're in for a world of hurt once once the money gets gets situated. He's just showcasing as well the you know the dominance here. Like, hey, we can ha we can take banana. You have to fight for it if you want it back. Well, Cirque's just trying to be mobile. They're going to come right through this. They're already attacking, and oh, that's a P250 on Ethan. Now he's got an AK-47. If he can just add one more oh. on top of it, he burns. Good effort from Ethan. He knew his teammate flashed from him. He knew the Genji members were blind, but 
that Molotov, what a perfect, perfect execute for Genji. And the weapons go down, which is great. Sure, there's a buy for next, but we keep on talking about CT economy. Saving two weapons in a buy like in a round like this is so important for them still. We could keep on doing them. We can see what EG replies to it. Or we say, hey, let's just skip banana for now. I think they might just call us for a save here. I think they have to call a save even if they don't want to. That's Maybe a... not anymore. Bomb's not down still as well. And note, no nades left on the T side. They can't even re-smoke CT spawn. So when he goes down there, when Kusta goes down, that's an opening for EG and they will definitely go for it now. And now it's difficult for the oh Genji side. Boy. You have to be aggressive because you have to go for peaks. How has this happened and worked so perfectly? I, I mean, if your daps just run away. Everyone's low. Just Imagine just... a spray down through the smoke. There's one. Yeah, yeah. There's two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the bomb was even planted for him is the real issue, though. That was that was never going to be a winnable round. And that was that round was anything anything but, you know, confidence-inspiring. This feels a little bit better. Ethan's coming alive. Double kill here to start things out. Down banana. A deep nade is going to do awesome chip damage on a Bentet. Not as awesome as I would have thought. But he's down to 69 HP. The pit. So this is an important kill here from Bentet. If you can get one at least to kind of create this domino effect, then we have some nades to kind of back him up on that. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the timing. Yeah, well, he's going to be upset when he gets killed from Graveyard. <laughs> Stanislaw as well. One Perfect giant game of peekaboo. And we do spot Ethan in library. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> well, that's nasty as F. <laughs> Automatic in lane. He's got to wait for Ventet to rotate over. They have one flashbang. There it is right now. It didn't do anything. And so many crossfires Whoa. that that just that just failed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, the crossfires failed. It comes after Gen G hits all the shots. It's three quick kills. All three snaps, headshots. There it is, but at least Tarek is going to get back soon enough. There's a flashbang. Flash it's coming out right now. Here we go, Tarek. Oh, he decides not to use it. Huh. I think that was their opening. I think now you're in a pickle if you're EG. Now we're talking Gen G's mistakes because they still have nades as well. They can use their flashbangs to kind of clear some areas here to help each other out. And they've got a, tri a solid triangle set up. That's a fast shot, though. Automatic. Lulled to sleep. And there's a good shot. They know where Kusa is as well. And it's picture perfect on the retake. And my god, did EG need that. And now over towards Small Pit. His Zerk missed shot, needs a pop flash from his teammates. He's got Ethan holding the line, doing massive damage, not able to find a kill. That's going to pull Tarek away. With the AWP, he cannot cover both choke points. That's a good quick shot. Now would love to find one crossing into the site, but his teammates are all going to push down mid, and Automatic's holding Banana. This is going to be so costly an approach for, Gen or for EG oh. and Automatic. That's a beautiful triple kill. And that's a round that probably EG should just call the save after the first guy goes down in Banana. It's a very tough call to make though, obviously, especially when Tark is alive here. And the reason why I say that is because EG, again, we mentioned it, you're going to see as well for next round. Their money loss point is not going to be great. It's going to be a Gen G round here, makes it 14-13, still in favor of EG. But I think now with this kind of buy, we would be looking at a potential 14-14. He's found some good success with timing, but... Second kill for Cirque. He grabs that's an angle. Huge. And that's automatic as well. 26 kills from the Gen G Auber. Back to the A site. A three man hit. It's what it's going to take. Breeze goes down. Stanislaw inside of the pit. He finds Daps. Took a little bit longer than he would have liked. Flashbang is out. Cirque is here in support. And inside the site is Bentet. He's just going to try and stick this plant. Force him out into the open. Molotov comes down. He's going to have to run into the O. Oh. That hasn't spread. He's found a little bit of a pocket of safety, but surely they know. And 15 rounds for EG. Banana some more and use some nades. We have the read there. The last round, we kind of whiffed it a little bit. And this time we play here for Ethan now. This is actually oh. might not bode well. I say that though. The flashback comes oh. right in time. Oh my god. Uh, they're they're going to destroy everything. It's all on this. They take the trophy with that push. And whatever plan Gen G came into this round with, it's gone. This was not it. Daps, he's been so good for Gen G throughout this event. He's gone. And Evil Geniuses, they are your CS Summit 6 Online Retro Summit.
RMR Road to Rio Online North American Champions presented by Monster XPG.